All right, so this problem says we have a compound that is composed of nitrogen and oxygen, and that this compound was decomposed into its constituent elements. So the compound was decomposed into nitrogen and oxygen, and the masses of nitrogen and oxygen were measured after the full de decomposition of this compound. And the mass of nitrogen turned out to be 787.1 grams, and the mass of oxygen ended up being 2,251 dot grams. So what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the empirical formula of this compound. So remember that the empirical formula shows the relative number of atoms of each element in the compound. And if we simply multiply everything by Avogadro's number, we can also say that the empirical formula gives the relative number of moles of each element. But it doesn't have anything to do with mass. So that means that each of these masses here, both the mass of nitrogen and the mass of oxygen, we're going to have to convert each of these to moles. So I'm going to set up two conversion factors converting each of these things to moles. So I'm going to put grams on the bottom and I'm going to put moles on top. And we're going to use the molar masses of nitrogen and oxygen given from the periodic table to calculate the number in moles of each of these two elements. So the molar mass of nitrogen from the periodic table, 14.01 grams per mole. And the molar mass of oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. So if, the, if we carry out this calculation, we will get that we have 56.18 moles of nitrogen and 140.7 moles of oxygen. So really it's these two numbers that we're going to be using to find the empirical formula. So now that we have the amount of nitrogen and the amount of oxygen in moles, what we need to do is we need to find the greatest common factor, or GCF, of these two numbers. So how do you find the greatest common factor of these two numbers? Well, first what you have to do is you have to divide by the smallest value. And if dividing by the smallest value doesn't give you whole number multiples, then you would divide by one half of the smallest value. If that didn't work, if you didn't get whole number multiples, you would divide by a third of the smallest value. If that didn't work, you would divide by a fourth of the smallest value. And you would just keep going and going and going until you get um, whole number multiples of each molar amount of atoms. So we have 56.18 moles of nitrogen and we have 140.7 moles of oxygen. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both of these things by the smallest value. So the smallest value among these two is 56.18 moles. So we're going to divide this one by 56.18 moles as well. And then that'll give us our empirical formula. So if we divide 56.18 by 56.18, we'll get 1. So we'll say that this is nitrogen with a subscript 1. And then if we divide 140.7 by 56.18, we will end up getting O. And the subscript for O would be 2.504. So this is a basic um, sketch of what our empirical formula should be. But remember that the empirical formula has to be whole number multiples. It can't be 
2.5. It doesn't make sense to say that a molecule of nitrogen and oxygen has 2.5 oxygen atoms in it because atoms are, by most means, indestructible. So that didn't work. Dividing by the smallest value didn't work. So now what we have to do, since dividing by the smallest value didn't work, is we must divide by one half of the smallest value. So I'm going to take 56.18 moles of nitrogen and I'm going to divide that by one half of 56.18 moles. And I'm going to take my 140.7 moles of oxygen and I'm going to divide that by one half of 56.18 moles. And then let's see if, uh, if we end up getting whole numbers. So 56.8 divided by one half of 56.8, that's just going to be 2. So we have nitrogen, use a better marker, nitrogen, subscript 2. And then if we have 140.7 moles of oxygen divided by one half of 56.18 moles, that's going to give us O with a subscript 5.009. And generally, the rule is if you are in, if you are within one tenth of a whole number, then you can consider that a whole number. So what do I mean by that? Well, if this subscript under the oxygen, I'll call it N, if this is between 4.9 and 5.1, If that subscript is between 4.9 and 5.1, in other words, if it's within plus or minus one-tenth of a whole number, then you can consider it to be a whole number. So that means that the empirical formula of this compound would then be N2O5. That's the empirical formula of this compound, but it's not necessarily, necessarily the molecular formula. Remember that the empirical formula just gives the relative numbers of atoms of each element. It doesn't give the absolute number of atoms of each element in the compound. So if you wanted to know the molecular formula, you would need more information about the problem. So namely, the molar mass. You, you would have to know the molar mass of this compound in order to in conjunction with its um, empirical formula to calculate the molecular formula. And we will do that in another video. So, good luck.